we're gonna call this series books i really really need to read <laughs> me again kiana and welcome or welcome back to my channel um i do bookish videos here book vlogs um tags unboxings and today we're going to be talking about the top five books on my bookshelf to me personally that i feel i need to hurry up and read already um some i've had on my bookshelf like okay one of these i bought twice and i got rid of it once because i still didn't read it but i'm not going to take it off my shelf until i read it so let's just go ahead and get started with these five books so yeah, the first book we're going to talk about is the one that I had, I gave away, and then I rebought. Do not judge me. Um, and that is The Kiss of Deceptions. This is the first book in the Remnant Chronicle series by Mary E. Pearson. Um, yes, I love how floppy it is. So this on the back says she flees on her wedding day she steals ancient documents from the Chan chancellor's secret collection she is pursued by bonnie hunter sent by her own father she is princess Lya, 17 first daughter of the house of Mor morgan the kingdom of morgan is steeped in tradition and the stories of a bygone world but the traditions Lya can't abide like marrying to like having to marry someone she's never meant to secure a political alliance fed up and ready for a new life Lya escapes to a distant village on the morning of her wedding she settles in among the common folk intrigued with two mysterious serious and handsome strangers arrive and unaware that one is the jilted prince and the other an assassin sent to kill her uh deceptions where on Lya finds herself on the brink of unlocking perilous secrets secrets that may unravel her world even as she um feels herself falling in love so this is um three books a lot of people love this series so much and i think what intrigues me the most is that she basically falls in love with these two guys from what i hear and we don't know and so i think like the end of the book which one's the prince that she was supposed to marry and is very like jealous and angry that um you know she left him and which one's the assassin that was hired by someone who we don't know um to kill her i love how floppy it is and yeah i want to branch out and i want to read more books like this so i want to read this the next one was on like my top five books to read and i think it was like fall or winter i don't know i'll link it somewhere on the eye I read almost all of those books except for one other book and then this book and that is a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson and i want to read more mystery books so this one is this is a story of an investigation turned obsession pretty and popular high school senior go away um pretty and popular high school senior andy bell was murdered by her boyfriend sal singh who then killed himself it was all anyone could talk about and five years later pip um sees how the tragedy still haunts her town now senior herself pip um decides to re-examine the closed case for her final project at first just a cow stop on the original um investigation but soon she discovers a trail of dark secrets that might actually prove sal innocent and the lines between past and present begins to burn someone in fairfield doesn't want pip to gain around for answers and now her own life might be in danger i bought this after i read sadie by courtney summers which i really freaking loved and someone said i would love this too my sister is more of like the murder mystery like person along with my father who reads nothing but like james patterson books so i want to hop on this trend and read this and like i know i would love it i just don't know what's taking me so damn long to read it the next one again bought it got rid of it bought it again and that is girl serpent thorn by melissa I don't even want to say that last name because I'm going to mess it up. But look how gorgeous this is. This was all over like book talk, book Instagram, and book tube. See, like I bought this in, bought this June 15th, 2021 because I still have the freaking receipt right here in the book. Um, it says, there was and there was not, as all stories begin, a princess curse to the poisonous, to the touch. But for Soraya, who has lived her life hidden up all away apart from her family, safe only in her gardens is not just a story as the day of her twin brother's wedding approach sarai must decide if she's willing to step outside the shadows for the first time below in the dungeon is a demon who holds the knowledge she craves the answer to her freedom above is a man who isn't afraid of her who eyes linger not with fear but with an understanding of who she is beneath the poison Soraya thought she knew her place in the world but when her choices lead to consequences she never imagined um she begins to question who she is and who she's becoming human or demon princess or monster I don't know why I haven't read this. I have put this on like three TBRs and I think I just need to pick it up. Not have it on TBR. 
just randomly pick it up and start reading. I think what drew me to it was a snake. I think this is the one like everyone in YA was doing like um all the snakes on the cover and I absolutely love it. Oh and it also matches my nails. The next one I got it in um an owl crate book box in January of I think it's like 2020 and that is Lore by Alexander Bracken. Um I have only read like Alexander Bracken's middle grade but the fact that she wrote this about Medusa is what drew me in. Um Every seven years, the Agon begins as punishment for a past rebellion. Night Greek gods are forced to walk the earth as mortals. They are hunted by the descendants of age of bloodlines, all eager to kill God and seize their divine powers and immortality. So you basically, if you kill the God, you become the God. Uh, long ago, Lord Perseus fled that brutal world, turning back on the hunt's promise of eternal glory after her family was murdered by a rival line. For years, she puts away any thought of revenge against the man, now a God, responsible for their deaths. Um... Yeah, as the next hunt dawns over New York City, two participants seek her out. Caster, a childhood friend, Lore, believed to be dead, and Athena, one of the last of their virgin gods, now are gravely wounded. The goddess offers Lore an alliance against their mutual enemy and a way to leave the Agon behind forever, but Lore's decision to rejoin the hunt binding her fate to Athena's will come at a deadly cost, and it may not be enough to stop the rise of a new god with the power to hang humanity to its knees. So I love anything that has to do with Greek gods and goddesses and with Medusa because I feel like Medusa's story was twisted and turned. Hey, Y'all need to leave Medusa alone. But yes, um, again, had it on multiple TBRs. I have now the audiobook for it, so I think I just I need to do it. And the last one, nobody killed me because I love this series so much, but it is A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Mass. This is the book that follows Nesta and Cassian after a couple years, I want to say after um the end of A Court of Wings and Ruin. So I literally bought this when it came out and I think what scares me is I'm, if I'm not gonna like it like would I read the next like three books that come out um it says Nesta Archian has always been prickly proud swift to anger and slow to forgive and ever since becoming being forced into the college and becoming high fae against her will she struggles to find her place within the strange deadly world she inhabits where she can't seem to move past the horrors of the words with Hybron and all she lost in it. The one person who ignites her temper more than any other is Cassie and the battle-scarred warrior whose position in Rice and Pharaoh's night court keeps him constantly in Nessa's orbit. Um, but her temper is the only thing, isn't the only thing Cassie and ignites. The fire between them is undeniable and it only burns hotter as they are forced to work together. Meanwhile, the treacherous human queen who returned to the continent during the last war have forged a dangerous new alliance threatening the fragile peace that has set over the realms. And the key to haunting them might um, very well rely on Cassie and Nessa and facing their haunting past against the sweeping backdrop of a world seared by war and plagued with uncertainty Nessia, nessa and cassian must battle monsters from within and without as they search for acceptance and healing in each other's arm so when this first got released i was very excited i just don't like this cover I like the covers that it has a favor on it. And I feel like because this one was about Nesta, I should have got one with Nesta on it, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, a lot of people love this. I'm just so scared to read it because if I don't like it, the other couple books that come out that follow like Elaine and um, I think we're getting one of Asriel, one of more. I think like what if I don't like those either? And I love those people. And this series is a comfort book for me. But yeah. So those are the five books that I have been having on my TBR for the longest and I don't understand why. I think maybe it's what February, like May, I'll do a check-in and be like, hey, did I read those books that I said I was going to read? I think I'm going to do that. Yes, I'm going to do that. So future me, I hope you read some of these books. I'll be leaving here right here two videos I feel you guys should go check out. I try to post two to three times a week. Sometimes life gets in the way. Sometimes work gets in the way. And I'll hopefully see you guys very soon with another video. Bye.